business trip. Oh, uh, the people move around. <laughs> it does tingle a little bit. Yeah, that looks really good. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Top 3 Show. I am Matt with the Disney Planning Insights Podcast. That is Peter with Princesses in the Mouth Disney Travel. Um, if you haven't come here before, we are going to pick a topic out of this bag of chips. And Peter's going to write lo what looks like on a roll of masking duct tape. Yeah, packing tape. It's empty packing tape because I don't have any paper nearby. Nice. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to come up with our top three of whatever... We, we pick out of this thing. So I am going to pick out number 15. And we're going to see what number 15 actually is. Um, because I am not even close to that um, screen. Favorite moments of Tron movies. Oh my gosh, that's so <laughs> crazy. What? What? Uh, man, to be prepared would be amazing sometimes. When are we going to get questions just like about Disney? Why is it always got to be about the parks? Why can't we just like favorite animated movie? Uh, we, we, we could do that. Yeah. We should. Okay. This is, a, th this is actually a really good one because it, it kind of goes across a couple of different topics. Um, favorite memory maker photo spots. Wow. <laughs> Just like, let me narrow it down to the top 100. Yeah, you have uh, 20 seconds. Planning your first trip and getting overwhelmed by all the details? Planning your next trip and just want some new suggestions on things you haven't tried? Contact me at Princess of the Mouse Travel, and I'd love to work with you planning your next trip to the most magical place on Earth. You can contact Princesses in the Mouse Disney Travel on Facebook at P-A-T-M Disney Travel. All right, this this is a doozy. I I have one. I have I have two. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm gonna have to think of some others. As, as and well. I've got I've got one that's probably a super obvious one, but I've I, I've got a twist on it. Hmm. So I'll go ahead and start. So my number three is going to be the. Everest shot next to the ceremonial tower. So basically there's a shot you can get at Everest and they do magic shots and a lot of things at it. And it's before you make the big loop around Asia to Everest, there's kind of like a flat spot in the fence. And there's this, this ceremonial tower that's right there that you can get the picture of you and your family with Everest in the background. Yeah, it's right uh, next to the, uh, the little monkey enclosure right there. Yes, exactly. That's exa exactly where it is. Um, and it's a great spot because you don't necessarily know that it's a ride in the picture. It just looks like the mountain. And it's, it's really a good angle for Everest because you're far enough away that you can get the whole thing in the shot and that kind of thing. So my number three is the shot with Everest and if you want to look cold they can make it snow so that is my number three Peter what is your number three? Oh my gosh there's there's so many <laughs> can, I, can I take like okay let me clarify the parameters I have one that I'm going to talk about but just for my rest of my can I include ride photos or character meets because those would be included in my memory maker or does it have to be specifically like the tan vest photo pass person. No, I think I think anything that would be in your memory maker would be considered part of that. All right, that makes it significantly easier. But um, I will go because you kind of went with um, a really cool kind of iconic one. So I will go with the Tomorrowland Bridge. As, okay. Um, so my number three. If you're in Magic Kingdom and you start to go towards Tomorrowland, almost always there will be a photo pass photographer on the left-hand side of the bridge, and they will organize you with, talking about backdrops, Cinderella's Castle in the backdrop. But what I like about this picture, um, and we can still talk about, because I still might throw in one of the other ones, 
as <laughs> because you got all of them coming up Main Street. There's right? about 17 different places to get that picture. Pick a person. Um, yeah. But what I like about this one is coming across, you kind of lose the crowd between you and the castle. Yeah, because cause you've got that little moat right. there behind you, have, you. You have moat and you have trees kind of blocking and then you have sort of the right-hand side, um, like archway front of castle, and then you've got the castle up behind it. Whereas every single one along Main Street has just throngs and throngs of people this one's kind of nice because you get that castle shot with your family, but it's a little out of the way. And so it's just a cleaner photo, in my opinion, if I'm going to get one of me and my family um, with the castle in the backdrop. So yeah. that is my number three. That might have been my number one, but I only had one. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So before we get to number two, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and if you're looking to book a trip, go do what the ad said. Go over to our Facebook page, Princesses and the Mouse, on Facebook, and you can get any information you need to book a trip with us today. Um, so let's go to our number two choices. All right. Um, so my number two, I go back and forth a lot of times with this, but I love the shot of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway in the backdrop. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to be coming down, uh, <coughs> what is that? Sunset Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Coming down Sunset. Yeah, because then Hollywood, yeah. No, it's Hollywood Boulevard, because Hollywood and Vine is... Yeah, Hollywood and Vine, because then Vine goes left. Sunset is the one that goes down to Tower of Terror. Correct. Coming down Hollywood Boulevard. Um, so basically, when you go in the park, just go straight. It's, it's real easy. Um, but it, it's a great one because it's a very iconic building outside of Disney as well, um, with it being Gorman's Chinese Theater. And with the neon on it, if you get it towards twilight, that neon will really glow behind you. And it's a really, really cool shot to where you still get a good look at your family's faces, but you get this nice neon glow, old school Hollywood behind you. Um, and sometimes you can make out what it is, sometimes you can't, but it's a really, really nice shot. And, and, and a, not necessarily a unique location, but a very, very iconic location that isn't the castle or anything like that. So, um, so my number two is in front of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Hollywood Studios. Uh, Peter, okay. you're number two. Yeah, so I am going to go with uh, my favorite park. Um, I think if you've watched the podcast for any appreciable amount of time, you will know for sure that my favorite park is Epcot um, for all of the things that are going on there. And so I am going to go with Epcot and I'm going to actually go with the entrance to Epcot. Uh, so you will always find a couple of different photo pass people there, but I just love that shot. In fact, it's right there. Like that's how much I love this shot. Um, I just think that new fountain that they have installed in front of the, what is ultimately a ride, but the globe of Spaceship Earth is just such, it, it is Disney to me. Like a lot of people, oh, I know I'm at Disney because of the castle. For me, it's the first time I see the Epcot globe, whether that's from the balcony of my hotel or coming around the bend on the monorail for the first time or or driving through the park entrance to park, whatever that moment is, when I see the Epcot Globe, I feel like, okay, I'm at Disney. So one of my favorite spots for the photo pass photographers is to get this in the backdrop of me and my family on our Disney trip. So that is gonna be my number two favorite place to take a photo pass photo. On to the number ones. And before we get to number one, that shot that you're talking about, Peter, is a really good shot because the closer you get to the to Spaceship Earth, the less people show up in the background. So if you can get that really close to the fountain, yep. you lose a lot of those people in the background. So yep. definitely Same tip, yep. tip for that one. So let's go to our number ones. So I have two number ones, but I'm only going to give one because I'm not allowed to cheat. Um, but I am going to give a DPI pro tip on this one. Um, I am going to say the castle as well, 
The castle is just the most iconic shot at Walt Disney World. It doesn't matter. If you go to Walt Disney World, you have to get a shot in front of the castle. It, it, the trip's not complete without it. But if you book a breakfast prior to park open, the photo pass photographers are out. So you can actually get into the park before the majority of the crowd and take a picture in front of the castle without that crowd. You can get the partner statue. You can do all those things without a crowd. So, yes, it is a very, very generic shot that everybody gets. It's awesome. But you can get it without the people if you book that early breakfast. So you, you'll have places like Be Our Guest and Crystal Palace that will offer breakfast before the park open. And especially once uh, character, meal come, character meals come back, we miss that in news. They opened up characters to Disney College Program. Oh, all, yeah, they did. all the dining stuff's coming back now. Yeah. Um, all the character dining's coming back now with that. Um, but yeah, book your early breakfast. Get get in the park early because you're going to go all the way over to the left-hand side of the gate. You're going to go in early, and they do have the photo pass photographers out. Get your picture without the, the crowd behind you. Peter, what is your number one? I am torn. I am going to stay in Magic Kingdom, but I am also torn between two spots. Um, and the... Oh, man. Alright. So, I've got to pick. I've got to pick. So, I am going to go with um, the photo pass photographer that will be over by the um they'll either be on the stone bridge or the wood bridge over by splash mountain yes yep um a lot of times they're on the lower the wood bridge because that's just kind of the road bus traveled by um but occasionally you'll find them up on the stone bridge and sometimes they'll be down the wood bridges a little ways um so regardless though really great picture opportunity of either splash mountain in your backdrop um which is an iconic thing of Disney. It's gonna, I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, it's going to be closing here in just a couple of weeks to begin its uh, complete overhaul. And uh, and then if they're not there looking there, then what you can get is you can get Tom Sawyer Island in the background. Um, either of them are just like good old nostalgic Disney photos in Magic Kingdom and uh, are a really, really good place to get a nice picture of your family with, you know, we talked about Everest and all these these things in the backdrop so having like splash mountain up in your backdrop is hurry hurry a really really nice place yes i know we are running short on time so uh thank you all and uh if you want to talk to me about these deals or anything else please find me on facebook just type in princess and the mouse travel and you will find me really quickly i would love to talk with you um business is picking up so i'd be happy to fit in the time to to have a conversation with you well, perfect. Thank you, Peter. Have a good week, and we will talk to you next week. Hey, thanks for checking us out today. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons to help out the channel. Also, if you're looking for some more Disney content, check this out. I think you're going to like it.